guys, so I have a new review for you guys today. It's on the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous uh, Foundation and Concealer. And this is a new item that I've been intrigued by because there's a lot of uh, publicity around this with Katy Perry being the spokesperson and also tons of commercials. I don't think I can watch anything on TV without a commercial popping in so I thought you know what I need to try this because I love CoverGirl. I This is not my first CoverGirl review and I am in love with the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. So I wanted to try this because it's supposed to be like a fresh complexion. Let me read to you guys what it says. One simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduces shine all day. I am a shine ball. This is perfect. And oil-free, one clock pour, suitable for sensitive skin, lasts all day. And then the concealer, I uh, same thing. It says oil-free, one clock pours, and it says conceal dark circles and imperfections in an instant. The lightweight formula glides on smoothly, blends easily, and it lasts all day. Sounds like everything I need in my life for a drugstore. So I thought, okay, I have to go buy it. So, let's talk about the packaging first off, really quick, because it is way too cute, like pink and white, very girly, very Katy Perry, very cover girl, very like fresh, very young, I love the packaging, very compact when you open it, you squeeze it out, it almost uh, reminded me of the Smashbox um, CC cream or um, BB cream packaging, which I love, it's easy to travel also with the concealer too it comes with you know one of those wands uh, very does not bulky or anything like travel friendly and they are super cute so the product itself I can tell you guys really quick I am NOT wearing it right now this is my hourglass foundation if you want to see what the actual foundation looks like and the concealer I am wearing it on my 5k giveaway I am wearing this and the reason I'm not wearing it is because it made me break out like crazy and yeah that is no bueno so let me talk about it. the foundation is very light you guys like I'm in the color classic tan this is a very 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 watery foundation the kind of foundation that you have to let it dry in between layers because it just I don't know if you guys can tell the foundation moves quickly so if you're trying to put a lot on to get that full coverage uh, with the brush you're, you're gonna have this was very streaky foundation it was very streaky and you have to make sure that it dries between layers also it is very um, light so it's not a full coverage but it is buildable which I did enjoy but you have to, like I said, um, wait for it to dry. One thing I did notice besides the fact that it's very streaky and liquided is that I got oily right away. And even though I said it, if you look at my video, you can see I'm a little shiny. And that was like fresh makeup, like really fresh. And I'm really, really shiny. And for it to say that it lasts all day, I didn't get that. Uh, I didn't get that at all. I like the fact that it was oil free, but for some reason it just like the foundation moved so much it like all got around my nose and it was like all sitting there. So this foundation, yeah, even though it says it lasts all day, it didn't do that. It just moved all over and I think it's because it's really liquidy. It's like it moves, but you can see how it's setting and it's not full coverage. You'll still gonna, you're still gonna see my skin, and this is by me applying a lot. So this foundation to me wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I did like that there was a lot of options and colors, you guys. There was tons, so that was really nice. When I picked out the concealer, I didn't find that many options and colors, as you can tell. Like the packaging says, three hundred five, three ten. This is my 310 foundation and 
the shade difference is unbelievable so this is the only this is the medium deep right this is the only option that was for me and it's super super light like light and I didn't like that but I still tried it the concealer itself it's very also light uh, that it didn't conceal any dark circles so I'm putting it right here on top of my vein so you guys can see and I'll add another layer for you guys and this concealer it's also very watery uh, what I don't like and I don't know if you, you, you kind of can see it right now it sets into fine lines like if you have any under eye lines it'll sit there and somehow and sub enhancing like your I, I I just look older to me with this concealer I just don't like the way that it set it set I don't like the way that it moved and it got into my fine lines and it made me look cakey and I didn't even apply that much so I'm trying to let it sit, but this is also a very runny concealer. And the difference in shade for it to be compatible isn't compatible. So I had a lot of difficult time with this. And the video is not that noticeable because I did put um, banana powder to make it yellow it and make it darker. But this concealer was a no-go either. So, both of these items that I was really excited to try, unfortunately, to me, were a no-go. I almost didn't even do this review because I was just like, Ugh, I don't want to put this on my face and get up on top of camera. And you guys know that I love doing demos for you guys uh, when I'm doing a review. But in this instance, I'm sorry, I just couldn't put this on my face again because it made me break out and it was just not a pleasant experience. And the way that it looks, I almost feel like this is pretend makeup. Like if you're like 13 and 14 and you think you need makeup, this is what I would give you. Because this is like, I wouldn't even consider this real makeup. Sorry. It's just like one of those things that I'm like, it's so hyped up and I was so excited. And then I tried it I'm like, N no. Not, not for the stuff that I need, not for the coverage that I need, not for what I needed to do. It didn't work out, and it's just a no-go. So I hope you guys like this review. Sorry. CoverGirl is an amazing brand. I love their 3-in-1. I just don't think that this is... I don't think this is all... What it says back here is not what it did for me. So if you had a different experience, let me know. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget about my 5K giveaway that's going on. And enter. Okay, guys. Bye.